This is a Ryan Little production. Morning everyone, happy Friday. Well, it's not really morning anymore, it's about noon. But I am, I got up and did a workout. I didn't show you the whole thing because it's one that I've done a couple times and recorded, so it's just repetitive. But um, it was great, I did shift shop, 35 minutes. And then I got in the shower and got ready. I'm actually on my way to go look at <clears throat> the original apartments that I was gonna go to on Wednesday. I ended up, they're the same company, but, uh, and I feel like the units are probably identical, but I wanted to make sure, plus I'm not sure which location I prefer, so I'm just gonna look. I don't, I still don't know whether I'm actually gonna do it or not, but I wanna like keep my options open and at least see it so I can get an idea of what I really want. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I made an appointment, and my appointment's at 12.30. It's about 12.15 right now, so I'm on my way there. It's not far from where I currently live. But it's been a good morning. I got up, and I listened to a motivational speech. I told you guys about it, Les Brown, who I know who he is, but I haven't heard his stuff. My mom used to, my mom reads and listens to him a lot. <clears throat> and she told me about him years ago, but I never took the time to read or listen to his motivational speeches and oh my gosh I mean he's amazing so I'm gonna link down below also the one that I listened to today was about eliminating the negative thoughts and not believing those negative thoughts and he gives a little bit of a testimony about the things that he had to go through and he's gone through so much to get where he is and I, it was just so encouraging. So I listened to that this morning and I feel on top of the world really. The last few days have been <clears throat> so wonderful. I feel great. Today is gonna be a day of work. I actually want to film, I'm gonna make pizza for lunch. So I wanna film how I make the pizza because a lot of you have asked when I post on Instagram um, my food <laughs> then you got a lot of you ask like what is in it what do you use all those things so I think I'm gonna do a video <clears throat> like a recipe video on how I make my little personal pizzas and I want to edit some things and get some work done because I wasn't able to record anything on Wednesday um, but like I said it was so worth it because I made a new friend but um, I want to actually get some stuff done today. So it's going to be a fabulous day. This morning I talked to my dad. He's doing amazing. This is his birthday month and he'll be 80 years old this month. Crazy. I still can't believe it. But he said he's feeling amazing. Um, and I want to go see him soon. And I talked to another friend of mine who I haven't spoke to in a really long time, which was awesome. I'm actually going to be planning a trip. I was supposed to go next week to North Car or to North Carolina to visit Andrea, but I don't know what's going to happen with this hurricane situation. Which I don't know. Like I, I have such a strong desire to help. I couldn't. I mean, Houston is so far, and obviously there's no. I mean, I'm sure there's probably flights now. But I don't know, I wanna help. So I'm just praying about how I can help. But this whole Florida situation, I, you know, it's just a waiting game right now. We don't know what's gonna, how, it's, how bad it's gonna get hit. By the time you guys see this video, the hurricane will have already hit, but it's, I hear it's like a category five, and I don't know, I just have such a strong desire to do something, and, and I'm really just praying about what that is. So stay tuned, maybe I'll be recruiting some of you guys if you're available to help me help. And I wanna go visit, I wanted to go visit Andrea and then go see uh, another friend of mine that lives in North Carolina. His name is Carnes, and we've been friends for 10 years. He's such a great guy. He's actually a spoken word poet. 
he's pretty well known in the Christian spoken word world. So if you guys don't know about him, I think, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel yet, but I know he said he was gonna start one, but Carnes Turner, he is amazing. His poems are incredible. So I'll leave his name down below so you can uh, Google him or type him in on YouTube in the, in the search bar because his stuff will bless you. Um, yeah, so I wanna go visit them. But I'm not sure what it's gonna, what's gonna happen yet, so I'm just kinda postponing that for now. But anyway, yes that's all on the horizon but for now I'm almost there it's I'm almost at this place oh wait here we go I have to turn here but anyway let me get going because I'm about to reach this place and I want to get in there sorry <laughs> I want to get in there and get my tours I'm gonna tour all of the models and just see what they're like and I'm excited I'm, I'm really feeling like these places might be a place that I, I could feel really for real at home in and not want to move for a very 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 long time because your girl is sick of moving man I can't even tell you I've never moved this much in my life and I never want to move this much ever again so I'm just praying that the Lord show me where you want me and uh, if he wants me to stay then I'll stay you guys this place is perfect I'm so excited right now I went in expecting the layouts to be exactly the same and they are so different I am so excited right now I have been looking for a place exactly like this ever since I moved to Indy I don't understand why I didn't search harder I didn't even know these were a thing and I, I'm I oh I'm so excited I feel like this is it but I'm gonna just pray about it I'm gonna give it a day or two and I'm just gonna pray about it I want to make sure I don't want to be impulsive I know that if this is the Lord then he has the perfect place there for me and I didn't know if I wanted to be in this location but it is so I walked in there and I was like yes 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 the other one was beautiful and I could see myself being very happy there but I wasn't a hundred percent sure of the location it was a little bit closer to the house when I was married than I would really like it to be but I really loved them and the, and the energy in that complex or the yeah the complex wasn't wasn't bad but it just didn't feel quite right but I would have gone for it if I felt like it was a good choice but going there it feels right like I am just like I said I'm gonna sleep on it but you guys I'm so freaking excited I am so freaking excited you have no idea how long I have been praying for the Lord to show me the place that I can be at home in and I really believe that this is it this has the same feel as my last apartment in Bloomington and that place I absolutely adored that place and I, I could have stayed there for years and years and years and just felt like I was in my home and I haven't found that since and I feel like this is it so I have a lot of praying to do but I feel so excited oh I feel so excited I know I'm so excited about something that seems so dumb to some people but for me home is everything like home is your oasis home is your it's like the place that you escape to. And because I spend so much time at home, it's so important that the energy in the atmosphere is is right. And like I said, I'm happy in my place. Like I'm not unhappy, I'm grateful. But for me personally, it's just not bright enough and the energy in the place is not what I want to stay in for years. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel settled. I wanna feel settled. And I feel like this place that I just saw is a place that I could feel settled in. And to me, that is everything. It's everything. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about it because you guys are probably like, what the heck is wrong with this girl? But that's how excited I get about these things because they mean a lot to me, man. The small things, watching this is a big thing I feel like in life. Your energy, your space, all those things are kind of like, they you on a day-to-day -day basis and for me 
that's everything okay i don't cheat myself when it comes to where i live it's important you guys i'm so happy i finally recorded my first of many cooking videos at this house it was a simple one obviously i feel like everybody knows how to make pizza for the most part but I, a lot of you guys, like I said, asked me how I make my pizza. And I finally decided I wanted to have pizza today anyway. So I decided to record how I make my own personal pizza. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. I'm really excited to get going on the cooking videos and to get going in general with my videos. I feel really motivated. Um, I got that done. Now I just need to edit it and i'm gonna get a lot of stuff done today i think i'm also going to record my peanut butter recipe so i'm going to record um how i make my peanut butter it's really really simple and a lot of you guys asked for it so i'm going to do that today a little bit later as well but right now your girl is just hungry okay it is about 2 30 and i have not eaten anything but my shakeology so let me get this pizza in my belly and then i will talk to you guys later 